Hi everyone, um, welcome to Inktober day 9. I'm getting really lost on what day we're on now but what I might do with this video is combine it with day 10 which is actually today. Um, but yesterday was day 9 and I really wanted to do the prompt for it but I didn't get time so I, I'm going to try to do the two videos together. So yesterday's prompt was swing. And I have the idea for it and everything. There's still a couple of kinks that I want to work out. So I'll get to sketching. I wanted to take this one really literally because I had an idea for um, just everything. I really liked the idea of someone actually being on a swing because I think it's a very kind of soft, romantic image. The basic idea that I had, I'll show you there, is this woman and she has very kind of particular angles holding the swing like that and you know just kind of sitting on it pretty much but yeah that was the basic idea and I just wanted to kind of refine that a bit because there are still some elements that I'm not sure about like exactly how I want to draw her face um, how I want to draw her hair things like that so I'll just sketch and um, We'll see how it goes, I'll get back to you in a minute, and um, yeah. Okay, so I think this idea is a little bit more animated than the one I had before. Um, even though I really like the kind of the softness of that one, um, I think this one has a lot more kind of action in it and um, it's still very simple, which is what I wanted for it. I think I, I just kind of prefer to keep it simple in terms of design and everything, just so that I can get so that I can um, focus more on putting like energy in the movement and stuff. Like I do still really like this one, but it's just I think a little bit boring now. Right, so I'm going to try. I'm going to transfer this onto another sheet of paper, and then I'll start inking it. I remember the other day that I had this little calligraphy set where you get like a couple of different nibs and the the handle. Um, and then you just slot all of the nibs in. But I was thinking surely there must be um, a couple of them that would have thin enough nibs that I could actually try inking with them. Oh yeah, okay, that's quite nice. Yeah. That one's still not right. Mm. Oh yeah, okay. This is more like what I had in mind. Where the nib is flexible enough that you can get a very thin line and then if you press a little bit harder it'll go wider. The question is, uh, is my hand really steady enough? I've already got ink everywhere. I feel like I would have for some reason, better control over this with a brush. I'm just more used to using brushes. I think maybe at some point I'd like to do something with this pen. Good experiment though. I mean, as quick as it was, I'm glad I remembered that I had this uh, little set. I really wanna do it in color, but I feel it'll look very nice as well if I just do it in black and white and then have some little additions, like highlights or uh, what are they called? Just little pops of colour. I'll set my sketch next to me. And then, uh, yeah, so I'll just go now. So 
So actually, who else have you guys been following on Inktober? I've been really, really enjoying um, Loish's drawings. I really like her pictures every time she does Inktober. I love that kind of duo tone stuff that she does. It's really relaxing. She has a very kind of almost therapeutic style to look at. I also actually watch Furry Little Peaches um, Instagram as well. And she has, she usually does her own Inktober list, which I might do next year, I'm not really sure, but she always has these cute little prompts. Um, and her drawings this year, I don't believe they're done in ink, but like that doesn't matter. But she has such a lively, colorful style and it goes so well with the prompts that she's chosen. And she's a really, really cute style. I guess when in doubt, add more hair. It always makes everything look more like floaty. Right, so I'm just gonna start painting it now. I wanna keep it, again, as simple as possible. Right, okay, so now that's done and I've added some little extra kind of like hair strands flying around. Um, I'm just going to do the little additions of like the little flowers. I'm thinking of doing them in a kind of pink or something. And then I'm going to outline her. Right, okay, I think that's done so. Um, that's the prompt swing. I'm pretty happy with it actually. I mean, like I suppose in relation to all of the other illustrations I've done, it's more of a finished, I suppose, in, in terms of idea than the other ones. So there are lots of elements of it that I would probably still change. Um, her boobs look a bit funny, but you know, um, all in all, I'm actually happy with it. Okay, so I'll leave it at that. So that's prompt uh, nine, which is swing. Right, so for this part of the video, I figured that 
I was getting really tired of the white noise that was getting picked up from my camera and I thought for this part I'll see how it goes just doing a recording on my phone and just doing one massive time lapse in the video. So for this uh, part it's day 10 which is today now of Inktober and the prompt is pattern. So my first kind of thoughts are um, something really bright and colourful. I wanted to do something kind of like that girl I drew at the beginning where there was something really determined or whatever about the expression of the person in it. But then I started thinking about this old character that um, my friend and I used to have who, I'm, who I've been drawing now for the last like minute or so. Um, we had this character when we were like teenagers and the main kind of design uh, thing about him was that he was super colourful, he would always wear really high, um, really vibrantly coloured outfits with lots of patterns, so I thought he would fit the prompt perfectly. So I'm mainly just figuring out like colour compositions here, or, sorry not, yeah, colour tests here, what colours would go best. Um, and I was kind of thinking, I really wanted to have that heart pattern in the background and I knew I wanted them, I knew I wanted them pink or on a pink background. So I'm just trying to figure it out here really, I'm just messing around and funnily enough this is actually becoming a pattern in itself. So that was it, then I just kind of, fi I figured out the colours that I wanted to use. So now I'm drawing him on one of those render sketchbooks um, that are getting pretty popular, I think. They're like those no show through sketchbooks where you can basically use as much marker on it as you want and it won't show through to the other side, which is pretty incredible, um, especially for anybody who uses them a lot. Um, so the video really from this point on is fairly straightforward. I'm just colouring him in. Um, I have my colour scheme, which I settled on a green and a pink colour scheme. I actually had to go online for just some inspiration. Um, and this is one that I really liked. And instead of giving him polka dots like I had done in the kind of test runs, I actually, you'll see, I end up giving him like tiger stripes which was um, a design element that I used to draw him with a lot and I don't know I, I really like how this turned out it's really lovely and bright I love the um, vibrancy of the colors they worked really well on the paper and it just it turned out really nice <laughs> it's very very simple but I really like it and um, yeah that's kind of it I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you liked that it was a kind of a double, double batch, I suppose, for the two days. Um, so I'll leave it here and I'll see you in the next video whenever that is. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you or talk to you very, very soon. So bye-bye, thank you.